Good morning, YouTube. It is approximately, I don't know, 2 a.m. Got us a container all over on the 10 freeway at Fremont. This is uh, East Los Angeles. tripod away I had it in that mode right now just to show you guys pretty much how fast it takes to set up you see I already got the boom out and I got all my rigging done so now it's just a matter of going to this side attaching the rigging and then it's lift off let's see these 53 footers they're extended normally a container is 40 feet right these uh, 53 footers, the holes are actually right here. And you can't put a regular container link in, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do. By the way, it's pitch black right now. This is how the uh, my Sony FX3 with the 1.8 lens looks. All right, so this is what I mean. This is gonna be pretty cool. So again, this is where you want to lift from on these 53 footers as opposed to the corner because at the end there's nothing there as opposed to like a 40 footer. So let's concentrate here and if you notice the holes here and this big gap will not allow you to fit a shackle in here and I do not run chain through these container pockets. Back in the day, yes. But now, no. Especially on a heavy load that is suicide. Now, this is what I do. I also got the cribbing here and cribbing on the other side for safety. So I run my strap in here. Alright. There we go. So we just popped it in. You don't want to keep your hand there too long, more than a couple seconds. It's still dangerous, but I mean, I got double cribbing, so. And pull the end out here. Ta da! Now, these container slings are rated at 32,000 pounds in a basket. almost right now 
rotate my boom. Let's get that line over here. We'll stand back from this side just to show you. So we'll drop my line. Oh, there it is. So let's pull on this one. I got it in free spool mode. Not too much. Right there's good. And then, uh... Get stuck right there. Just grab it. All right, now let's put it down and show you what I want to do right here. shackle that way it'll get the max working load limit on both the container sling and my orange round sling so this one goes in here sweet Connect the two. This container link, I believe, is uh, thirty-six thousand pounds in the, this configuration, and the orange link is forty thousand. So, well within my working load limit. Let's boom up. So I stood back, let's boom up. All right, now I jump up there and I get the container slings for the catch.
All right, that's awesome right there. It's gonna look great. So let's get my appropriate boom height. That should be great. So the way I planted my truck is these tires right here are going to land precisely behind that outrigger. Within inches of my truck, Dave's gonna be doing the exact same thing on his end. guys as I did my test lift right here uh, the front container locks were off they look like they were in but these pins that hold them in I don't know if you can see hold on that right there that thing uh, came undone so as we put pressure on it it slid off but both locks are now in place so when the container comes over the chassis comes over and let's see how Jacob's doing. I think we're ready to lift. Yep, they got it all under control. Just get some nice height. Extend out. right there's good let me push these back a little bit now while I love this method one of my buddies Sean Mel brought up a good point I hadn't thought of before is these pins are not rated for side loading like this they're called pull pins but I figure you got the rotators handling the container, all that weight. And because I have an equalizer thing, each pin has exactly 50% of the force of the front of the tractor. You know what, actually, let me put a load cell on it. Hold on. Okay, drop it down, I'm gonna try something. Okay, took a two minute break to set that up. That's my new wireless load cell shackle. That'll measure the force. This is what I was talking about. So right now it's measuring 7,000, oh come on, 7,500 pounds of force. So divide that by two, about 3,700 each. So each uh, pin right here is holding 3,700 pounds of force. Don't know what they're rated at, I've never had one break before. I've heard horror stories, but that is something to keep in mind when using this method. But it looks cool and I love it. We're ready. All right, Jake, you lift off the ground a little bit, please. A little bit more. All right. CHP had to stop really quick so they can close uh, the westbound traffic. I mean, there's not much, but safety first. All right, Jake, just follow our lead, okay? Good job. All right, hold it there, Jake. 
Let me catch up on my catch. Going a little too, uh... Let me go. All right, perfect. I'm gonna hold it right here just to show everybody. The beauty of having two rotators is we can hold it at any second and it's strong. Oh well, yeah, it's not recommended. But you gotta be confident in your equipment. Look how straight that is, man. There's no shock load. Tractor comes up absolutely perfect. Um, in position to the container. Everything is incredibly smooth. It's gonna rotate between that snatch block. It's just a beautiful job. All right, Jakey, now very smooth. You're gonna start going down with the tractor, okay? Don't let the wheel touch, but almost. Push it out? Yeah. All right. That's what I'm here for to hold it. Look, my. When you're ready. Uh, look, right behind the outrigger, just like I said. You're dropping now, Jake. I like it. see that every day okay that was cool now let's drop it Good. See, another beautiful thing about these rotators, they don't get enough credit, is the minimal space. Is you can park next to the casualty, like we did, and bring it to us. We don't have to back up to it. 
I got no tension and um, I don't think there's any load shift. Uh, looks good, looks good. Great, I love it. No need for counter leaning. can see we are done all Jacob's gonna do is hook up to it yeah that, those are Dave's Dave's putting away his rotator and then Hulk's close to being done by the way all this stuff I use you see in all my videos all this cool synthetic stuff um, I plugged them before they're great people Bailey's towing accessories they're working on a kit because I get so many requests in the comments on my Instagram and on Facebook about where do I buy all my synthetic stuff from my orange round slings to my famous uh, Bepis container slings, my 10 foot equalizer sling, my soft shackles, pretty much everything. Even the metal stuff I get from them, they're coming out with the kit. So hopefully it'll be out by the time this video is out and I'll drop the link below. If not, just stay tuned highly recommend if you're in the industry sweet i got hulk all put away outriggers dave's trucks put away jacob's almost good to go i think got his airline Good job. Drive shafts removed. We're good to go now. Peace out, y'all.